Lo que tiene el clásico de Regio es que te inyecta una energía muy diferente al visitarlo en su estadio. Es algo increíble, la verdad, tener a, a dos equipos aquí en la misma ciudad y es una gran rivalidad. Eh, las dos aficiones sienten el fútbol de una manera completamente distinta al resto del país. Eh, así crecemos en, en Nuevo León, eh, sintiendo y viendo el fútbol como una parte importante de nuestras vidas. Porque la afición es muy entregada, conoce, sabe, vive, crece junto con el equipo. La ciudad se paraliza, eh, es una afición que no creo que haya en el país. La familia sabe que el papá es rayado, la mamá es tigre, o así, y a las 7 casi la ciudad está paralizada. I feel like the city without football, it, it wouldn't be the same. I probably say my earliest memory of soccer was when my grandfather would always go watch my games, and uh, I would remember he'd tell me, if for every goal you score, I'd give you five dollars until I started scoring about 10, 15 goals per game. I'd probably say he. After that, he never told me that again. I remember exactly the call, because I was the one that received the call inviting Jonathan to Sueño Alianza. And I'll tell you the truth, we didn't have an idea of Sueño Alianza. Alianza de Football is a program we designed to really focus on giving players in the Latino community a chance to live their dreams through soccer, because they were not part of the existing soccer infrastructure. As our logo said, it's a pasión por la comunidad. We want to help the Hispanic community in the U.S. because sometimes we feel they are a little bit left out. We added Sueño as kind of the prophetic voice of Alianza. Sueño means a dream and we are just a tool to show in front of the correct scouts. We're an open tryout. 8,000 kids across the country participate. We have 250,000 people that are coming to our events and 40,000 players every city. Alianza is the biggest way out to play professional soccer in, in Mexico. When I was there, when I got there, I was very surprised. The uh, organization, how, did they, how they do it, the scouts, it was a big opportunity for Jonathan. The kids that come every time we have a Sueño program, they're the same passionate players that they were before Jonathan was part of our program or other kids who we helped reach their national team player pool goals. But think about that, 8,000 Latino players across the country come to our events. That isn't the tip of the iceberg. That's the tip of the tip of the iceberg. We are a very small part of the potential that could be realized. Talking to the scouts immediately, they saw a leader. Even though he, he didn't know anyone in the, in the field, he was already giving them instructions. And obviously his, his technical ability and his, the way he plays soccer, he was outstanding. The truth is, I, I only remember the the ceremony at the end. I'm not a talent scout, but I remember being shocked that every single Mexican team, 14 I believe, were there and every single team wanted it. To make a long story short, um, in the program he excelled and he um, got 16 invites from the different clubs and both of the uh, national teams. So Jonathan had to pick over 13 teams. It was, it was hard when you're a 14 year old kid. I realized that when they invite Jonathan, when all the clubs had the same idea about Jonathan, I knew he was something very special. It was, it was something else. We started visiting our other clubs. And um, he visited about four or five clubs, and the last club we visited was Monterrey. When we got there, we'd all feel it. For me, Monterrey, since I got here, I could tell that this was going to be my home, I mean. I mean, the people, the city, the, the stadium, the, the crowd, everything was just perfect. As soon as we walk into the club, I just say, Dad, I'm staying here. This is my club. So he finally decided to go to Monterrey. He left his home when he was 14 years old, leaving his family. So he has sacrificed a lot, and now everything is paying off for him. It was hard for us to let him go because he was only 14, 14 years old, and so to um, let your son fly at 14 was really hard. 
feel like in the U.S. I probably wouldn't have developed the same as I did over here in Mexico. So I think that uh, that's a, a big part of why I'm, I'm here right now. This morning, as we came into the office, the World Cup rosters started being announced. Um, the big news that we've seen so far, Jonathan Gonzalez, not on Mexico's preliminary roster. Right. 